to discuss how we can work together to protect democracy around the world, to stand up for democracy around the world. That's nothing we're going to apologize for, no matter what the criticism is from any country around the world. It does not mean that we are invite that everyone we're inviting we're giving a stamp of approval on. Uh, every democracy is a work in progress, and it doesn't mean that we are uh, giving the opposite of a stamp of approval or a negative stamp to people who are not invited. This is just meant to be uh, to in include and invite a diverse set of voices, countries uh, who can speak to our global effort to protect democracy. 拜登政府在会中也会宣布一个新的倡议，就是要和其他的国家合作，来对独裁政府用来压制人权的监视工具和技术来限制出口。那么，白宫的资深官员还点名了，中国就是错误使用科技来监视甚至控制人民。美国会和友善国家建立出口执照政策的行为准则。至于会有哪些国家会纳入这个新的倡议呢？白宫只提说是理念相近的国家。请支持专门报道国际新闻的全新 YouTube 频道 TVBS 国际 Plus， 扩大视野，掌握趋势。邀请您订阅，并且开启通知小铃铛。